Oh my gosh. This hits. All right, so what is up guys? Welcome to another edition of Monday Reset. Today, we're gonna talk about keeping to yourself. If you guys are new, the reason why I do these Monday Resets is something that has happened during the week or out and about on the weekend, this past weekend or something like that. Anything that happens, I like to talk to you guys about it, help you guys out, just in case you guys have the same issue that I have, and then we can combine what you've had happen to you and compare what I've had happen to me and see the outcome, see if we, we align and whatnot and how to maneuver around it. So one of the biggest things that I see within content creation is how much people say they're going to do something to someone and decide to like not do it later. I'm pretty sure we've all done that. But the way we're doing it is really ruining our own reputation. If you believed in yourself a little bit more, you wouldn't be in this issue. One of the most exciting things that I enjoy within content creation is coming up with this insane idea. I think we all do that. We all love these ideas that we come up with and we sit there in our minds and think of like how amazing it would be to do that idea and then how it can impact somebody else. Our ideas can be bigger than expected. And then what do we do? We go and then we tell someone else. I used to do this all the time, whether it's talking to some of my close friends or close relatives or talking to people within content creation about my ideas. But most of the time, about 70% of the time, the reaction that you get from that person back impacts your mood or preference on your own idea. I've had dozens of ideas, and I mean dozens of ideas, and they just get shut down, like shut down instantly because I spoke to someone about it and they didn't like my idea. Now, truly, I've learned my lesson because honestly, not only can that person just doubt your idea, but they can also take that idea, put their own twist on it, and then enjoy their idea or their creation, but in reality, it was your idea to begin with. And there were times where I've told somebody an idea and I get that negative reaction out of it. And then I just go back and like try to brush it off and then go and do it. The picture just isn't there anymore, like how you imagined it to be. Every day I deal with doubt. I deal with a lot of doubt, not by me, but the people that I associate with, most of them being from work, you know, where I go and, you know, pay the bills at, you know, somewhere where you want to be in a positive area, but in reality, it's not very positive. But to be honest, I've kind of figured out why they doubt me so much. With what we have today, what we have to offer, like for example, content creation, it's almost insane for them to think about that people just come here and they make money from this. They've worked their whole lives and continue to be negative upon other people's lives because they didn't get the chance that we are getting currently within everything that we have in today's generation. Now I've learned daily how to cope with the negativity in my life. The best way to do it that and how I do it is to just throw positivity right back at them. You got to really remind somebody with a negative mindset of how worthy they are of doing anything and show them that they can do anything if they really just put their mind to it. What I'm trying to say is you really have to keep yourself enclosed to your own work. You really don't want to tell everybody your ideas because when they get shut down with negativity, it really doesn't help it. Don't tell anyone about your goals. Tell yourself about your goals. Tell yourself where you want to be in the next 